And how can I help you? <clears throat> I think I have an emergency. I see. And what is the nature of your emergency? It's a little embarrassing. I'd like to see a doctor. <laughs> a doctor? It's 3.30 in the morning and you want to see a doctor? Listen, buddy, the only way you're going to get a doctor in here at this hour is to bring some TV news cameras down here. Cameras? Yeah, you know, <laughs> like after a disaster or some shit. <laughs> then they might show up. <laughs> you don't look like you've been blown up. Well, I, but I have. Uh, not <laughs> in, in an explosion or anything like that. Oh, it's, what in the hell are you talking about? <laughs> please, this is an emergency. I need help. No, you can't see a doctor until you tell me what's wrong. Well, it's a little hard to explain. Well, it sounds like a long story, and if it's a long story, then it can't be that much of an emergency, then, can it? Yes, it can. Look, I think I've OD'd. Oh, well, that explains it. What do you mean, that explains it? Your behavior. I'll get scared. No, 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 that's, that's not it. I mean, I, I've OD'd on a prescription drug. Of course, Adderall. It's very popular these days. I understand. No, 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 you don't understand. I need to see a doctor. This is urgent. Who the hell do you think you are? The most interesting man in the world? <laughs> well, there is sort of a resemblance, I think. <laughs> no, but really, would you please get busy? All right, all right. Let me see your insurance card. I don't have my wallet with me. I was in kind of a hurry. Now, please, please, I need help. Another deadbeat. Haven't you heard about Obamacare? Listen, I can pay. I drive an Audi A8 for Christ's sake. Now, really, this is hard to explain. Try me. <laughs> Just try me. Uh, well, recently I married a much younger woman, and uh, yesterday was Valentine's Day, and well, I wanted to be ready, and so I borrowed some Viagra from a friend of mine. Uh, you know, my wife's ovulating, so I wanted to be ready. Uh, you know, I never tried it before. I didn't know what to expect, so I, I took one and nothing happened. And that's your emergency? No, uh, no, of course not. No, listen. <laughs> so I took another one. I figured I never needed it, okay? And if it didn't work, well, it didn't work and nothing. So... So what I didn't know was that my wife who's ovulating, borrowed some Cialis from a friend of hers who said it worked on women, too. Well, sounds like you had quite the, uh, valentine. Uh, look, I'm trying to explain. She decided to put it in my favorite meatloaf. <laughs> she did what to your meatloaf? <laughs> Brushed them up and mixed them with four tablespoons of paprika and cup of honey, and what she found out was an aphrodisiac in itself. You know, I don't know. She, <laughs> she's uh, ovulating, you know. Sir, I'm afraid I still don't understand the nature of your emergency. Look, aphrodisiacs apparently only work when you're stimulated. Now, do you follow me? Makes sense. All right, so she makes this incredible dinner. The appetizers are oysters on the half shell, which should have been my first clue. She's, uh, you know... Ovulating, you know. Right, right, right. Listen, all you're doing is making me hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and then there was the con chowder, which she had flown in all the way from the Keys. Now, I told you I could pay. There was a meatloaf. Now, damn it, I want to see a doctor. You still haven't said what? All right. All right. My wife knows I have a fetish for professional women with authority. Uh, oh, well, I can actually recommend several therapists that can help you with that. No, 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 that's not it. <laughs> so she comes into the bedroom after dinner, dressed up like a police officer, with a taser and everything. <laughs> and the blood just left my brain and went elsewhere. <laughs> Now, damn it, I'm going to see a doctor all soon. Ooh, uh, sir, I'm afraid we only have interns on duty at this hour. Well, get me somebody then. Uh, all right. All right. Uh, Last name. Uh, Wilson. First name. Woodrow. <laughs> a 
bet you get kidded about that one a lot. You mean about the president thing? No, about being called Woody. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm right now. Oh, oh God, hurry. I, I'm about to pass out. Oh, take it easy. Take it easy. Oh. Monica, we're going to need you to come out here. <laughs> what is it, Madeline? I'm gonna eat the breakfast. It's getting worse. <laughs> What's getting worse? What's going on? What's going on? Oh, well, Woody here says he's taking two Viagra for Valentine's Day, and his wife gave him oysters as an appetizer and crushed up some Cialis and put it in his meatloaf. Yeah. I did what to his meatloaf? <laughs> yeah, and don't forget the honey and the paprika and mm. the conch chowder. Hmm. According to his wife, she Googled it. Right, but... right. <laughs> Let's see. Viagra, Cialis, Oysters. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Pfizer, uh, Farmers, Fireman's Group, P. Fidelity, what? P? P.F. P.F., really? Just get them on the phone, Scat. I'll see what I can do. What are you doing? I'm just trying to help. Uh, you're not helping. <laughs> oh, yeah, he's got a fetish. Uh, let's not worry about his religious beliefs. <laughs> All right, Woody, let's have a look at your problem. Uh, I don't know. I mean, are you sure? Doctor's orders. Whew, don't use that tone of voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Oh, my! Hey! <laughs> uh, isn't that painful? <laughs> uh, how long has it been? This long. Too long. About six hours, we went to bed right after dinner and it won't go away. And why didn't your wife help you get here? She said she was too exhausted and wanted to watch cartoons. <laughs> <laughs> it was my problem now and... Am I damaged? I'm not sure. You see, there hasn't been a lot of research on the combination you've taken. But, but don't worry, we have state-of-the-art techniques here and I'm sure we'll be able to help you. Uh, what? I'm still on hold. Can you believe the Pfizer hotline plays Barry White? <laughs> Keep trying. Stay seated, Woody. I'll see if I can get a doctor on the phone. Please hurry. This is becoming unbearable. <laughs> I told you not to blow in that cab driver's ear. Oh, he was so cute, though. Hey, did you ever flirt with that Dr. Johnson? Yeah, he was way too kinky. Oh, uh, what's going on? What happened? Oh, um, well, we're just getting back from a Valentine's Day costume party. We got a little high and decided to call a cab. But he must have got distracted because he ran to this large pole. Fortunately, it was right outside. Yeah, good thing we hit that squad car first. Lucky, huh? <laughs> anyway, the cops told us to wait in here because it's too cold out there. I'll say, my nipples are hard as a rock. Oh. <laughs> right? Mine feel like marble. Oh. <laughs> um, what's wrong with him? Oh, he's having a hard time. <laughs> oh, uh, I wouldn't do that if I were you. Uh, no, I don't think it's a good idea. Ew. No, no, no. He's not contagious or anything like that. He's just very uh, sensitive. Oh, finally. A sensitive oh. man. <laughs> I said he was very sensitive and very married. So 
Half of our clients, um, customers, club members, are married. <laughs> so what's the big problem? Yeah, don't get the wrong idea. We're dancers. Yeah, we've got an act. See, I'm the good cop, and oh. she's the bad cop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Anyway, of course, you just you shouldn't be bothering him. Oh, we're not bothering him. <laughs> Sweetie. Stop. Can't you see this man is in pain? Can't he get a word in for himself? What do you say, sweetie? Got a safe word? Maybe he just needs a laugh. No! no! <laughs> uh, you might exaggerate your condition, and you two might hurt yourselves. Besides, you cannot do that in here. <laughs> All right, well, here's my card. Rain check, honey? Hey, our cops here. Come on, let's go. All right, bye. Check us out at the Hot Tip Club. <laughs> <laughs> Try to remain calm, sir. Uh, Believe it or not, we are going to get you some help. Uh, <laughs> All the doctors are at some Valentine's masquerade. I wouldn't do that. I heard they're going to bill it to Medicare as a seminar. <laughs> Oh, wait, I have the hotline on the phone. What's that? How does it look? It looks angry. <laughs> <laughs> it's all red. That's the paprika, right? <laughs> What's that? What shade? They want to know what shade of red. Oh, no. <laughs> Ooh. I want to say...